Hey guys, what's up? Teresa here and welcome back to my channel. Now, as you can see, I have a blank canvas, zero makeup on my face. Um, I am going to be doing a first impressions slash demo slash review on the one, the only Pat McGrath Labs Mothership 4 Decadence Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my God, you guys. Oh, look at the luxury packaging. I live for it with the crown. Now I did, I wanted this actually um, when it came out a few months ago. It was the Star Wars collection. And I'm not a big Star Wars, Wars person, like it's not my thing, but I still wanted to get the palette because I just wanted to try the shades look very intriguing. I wanted to add it to my collection. You guys know I told you I am building up my Pat McGrath collection. I'm not gonna get every single palette, but I'm gonna get the palette that is very intriguing to me, that I'm attracted to by the eye, that type of deal. And I am so happy it came in the original packaging. This palette came out originally two years ago. And it, it came out again, like I said, in the limited edition Star Wars packaging. When I went to purchase it, it was already sold out within the hour. So I got my hands on it this time, you guys. I got it for 10% off from the Pat McGrath Labs website. I have not touched this palette. I've been waiting to sit down with you guys. So I'm opening it now. You know, it has the French doors the opening. And oh my God, it's gold. I don't want to get to my fingerprints on it. You guys, oh my God. <laughs> this is fabulous, okay? Luxury all the way. Now let's open her up. And again, in the inside it has the actual shades. And what I like to do is I just like to put this um, inside the palette up against the mirror so that I can remember the shade names for you guys. Oh my gosh, this packaging is to die for. <gasps> Look at this beauty. Oh, ho, ho. fabulous, okay? So this palette is, this palette actually does not have the special shades. These are all shimmers and um, metallics. So this is a full shimmer metallic palette. No special shades, which I feel like if I would have got this palette a couple years ago when it originally launched, I would have been like, dang, you know, I wish it had the special shades. But because I have my quads and I feel like I could pair my Nocturnal Nirvana palette with this or my, um, the, uh, uh, what is it? Ritualistic Rose. I can pair those. I can pair those palettes either one with this if I wanted to. So it doesn't really bother me at this point that this guy doesn't have any special shades. I am so ready to dip my brush into these and put this on my eye. I will be priming with the, of course, Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyeshadow Primer, and I am going to do that using my Sephora Concealer Anti Pro Brush here. And then we are going to dig into this palette. Okay guys, my eyes are primed, got my brows on, and we are going to get into this palette. Now I am do not know where I'm gonna go with this, where I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna wing it and see what we come up with. I've, I'm looking at these shades here and it has some really nice blues. And I don't think I've really done blue. I don't do blue really in general in my personal life and I know I haven't done a blue look on camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the shade Underworld and that is this guy right here, it's this dark blue. And I'm just going to I think I'm gonna create a halo eye, you guys. I'm gonna do something fun. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my uh, Sonia G Mini Booster Brush. And I'm just patting it to create that halo shape. Just 
Okay, next I'm gonna go in with, <clears throat> excuse me guys, next I'm gonna go in with this like turquoise, turquoise, turquoise bluish color. It has more, even more shimmer in it and it's called Lepis Luxury and it's the shade right here. And I'm just gonna blend over the shadow that I just laid down. And I am going to be using my classic crease brush by Sonia G. Oh my goodness, you guys, these shadows just blend those themselves, to be honest. This is a really nice formula. And I'm just connecting right above, a little above my crease, not too high, not too low. Okay guys, now I'm going to go in with the gold shade. It's called Gold Standard. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks like pure liquid gold. Let's swatch it. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at that. That is so pretty. I'm gonna put this shade on the empty space in my eye where the halo is right in the middle. This formula feels like, I don't know, it just feels very silky and smooth. So I'm gonna take my finger and just apply this right in the center. Oh. Oh my goodness, you guys, check out the gold. So pretty, and I've never done a blue look on my channel, so I thought it would be fun after looking at this palette. Oh, I am obsessed with this gold. Mother Pat kills it every time. Okay, next I want to go into my tear duct area with the shade Sterling, and it's like this icy silvery blue shade, and it's right here. So I'm just gonna go in the tear duct area with that. Okay guys, I'm going to be going in with my Sonia G flat definer brush, and again, going into that Sterling shade, that pretty icy blue silvery shade. And I'm just gonna go in and hit my tear duct area. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Okay guys, because all of these shades are like shimmery metallics and there isn't a brow bone shade in, I'm just gonna go in with my tried and true Charlotte Tilbury Air, br Air Brush, excuse me, Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade two. It's a matte powder. I'm just going to hit my brow bone with this. And I'm going to use my Jumbo Blender by Sonia G. Okay guys, we have one eye done. I am going to go off of camera, finish the other eye, finish the rest of my makeup, and come back with my final thoughts. Be right back. Hey guys, Teresa here. I am back and I finished my makeup. I'm really loving the way it came out. As I mentioned earlier, I never do blue, so it was fun to play in the blues today, and the golds, and the, uh, sky shimmery silvery blues I really like the shadows that I've used so far I did go into my lower lash line just ever so slightly because um, I didn't want to make it too dark uh, but I love this palette you guys I got my little fingerprints on it but this is a fabulous palette Pat McGrath could do no wrong in my opinion like I I have the first one, no, I'm sorry. I have uh, 
the mothership number five i have this is number four and i have number seven and i have two of the quads as i mentioned earlier the nocturnal nirvana and the ritualistic rose and i am so happy with the purchases that i've got again i've gotten i got this one from the pat mcgrath website you guys i believe it's sold out again if you're interested in it um, stay tuned she brings them back every few months or so i'm just happy to have my hands on this guy so for me it's a thumbs up i am loving the way my eyes came out i even wore my uh, huda beauty samantha lashes so that you could really see the shadow i didn't want to wear lashes that were too full and in your face like i usually do these are full but they're not as full because i really wanted you to see the actual shadows and the way it looks i am so happy with the way this came out as you guys can tell i have my robe on i'm not going anywhere <laughs> but i will be keeping this makeup on for at least an hour or so because i am really feeling my look Okay guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all of my social media handles. I'm very active on social media and make sure you click that bell bar down below so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And until next week, which you guys next week, I will have the rest of my products here. I have the, I will receive them on Tuesday. Today is Saturday. So I will do, the next video will be my first impressions on all of my Sephora VIB sale haul products. So be on the lookout for that. And until next time, take care guys. Bye.